That little precocious girl who sang around the house, whose grandfather said, ladies and germs, please welcome to the stage, Adina Menzel. She had no idea that she was gonna play this wonderful, beautiful animated character. I was a dreamer. I believed ever since I was a little girl that I had something special to offer, I think. I really believed in myself more than I do now. <laughs> Um, well, she's honestly, she's changed my life. I don't take it lightly that I have the privilege of playing a character like Elsa and some others as well that really resonate with people of all ages, but especially young audiences where I, I she gives me the opportunity to, to sing or speak about our power as young women and how to harness that and to not be afraid of that. So what's nice is that I get to sing her music all the time and remind myself of the same things that I am um, being asked to be a role model for. So I have to practice what I preach. Cole never bothered me anyway. And this is a daughter of a pajama salesman, which means that he knew a lot of seamstresses that were happy to make my costumes for the school play. So they were really well done. So there was a lot of love put into that Dorothy costume. And it's also foretelling of where I was to go, I guess, having this sort of Wizard of Oz theme in my life. Once again, just seeing a little girl who was fearless and felt that she deserved to be in the spotlight, which I just, sometimes I just feel sadness because I, I know I've lost some of that. I have to work harder all the time as a grown up to, to own my place on the stage. It may not seem that way to you guys, but that's the stuff that I deal with in my own, with my own neuroses. So when I look back on a young girl that's um, felt like she deserved to be where she was, it's what all of us should feel when we're kids. And then we should maintain that somehow. Being stained with green makeup behind my ears for two years straight, working with the incomparable Kristen Chenoweth, who's always was in the moment and spontaneous. She inspired me in a, um, in a lot of ways in her process. Kissing me goodbye, I am defying gravity. I was afraid of my own power as a young woman. I think a lot of young women are afraid of the power that they have, and so we suppress it. And sometimes it may come out other ways that, that we're afraid of it that surprise people and learning how to harness that and navigate that and, and share our power and our talents with the world is, is a lesson to be learned here. <laughs> uh, this photo is the movie version of Maureen. You know, as most people know, Jonathan Larson, who composed and created the whole story of Rent, passed away way too soon. He passed away on the night of our first dress rehearsal back in 1995. And he was one of us, you know, he was a frustrated artist at the time. He was having a moment because he finally got the money and the, the grant money to pursue full time this piece he had been working on, not have to wait tables or anything. So we all especially myself, having been a wedding singer and a waitress and the whole thing, I, I completely related to him and bonded with him. So that was a very, very sad time in our lives and an awkward, unusual, bittersweet time because then the show took off and it was one of those moments, a defining moment in my life that sort of taught me about what was important and how fleeting life is. And um, what was most important was getting on stage every night and doing our best job for Jonathan. This lady, this is a mom, multitasking mom, who's about to send her son to school, still in a pandemic, um, feeling fearful, gets presented with the opportunity to partner with Rice Krispies Treats on a really cool messaging 
where they're asking parents to get in touch with and reflect on what their kids actually need to hear every day. As parents, we're trying to control so much and solve so much in a time where we don't have control. And it's a moment to just really listen to our kids and see what they need and help them verbalize their own emotions. I just want my son to do what he's passionate about. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it makes money, it doesn't make money. I just want it to be something he's passionate about.